I'm standing here in beautiful 70 degree weather. Mountains have just a little bit of snow in the tops. Just a slight little gentle breeze. I, I sold a full set of my DVDs. All nine DVDs plus the uh, tenth special DVD to someone in Israel. I mean, I just... Israel. Here I am in the, in the Madison Valley in the southwest Montana. The Yellowstone Park is just over those mountains right there. Grizzly bears and mountain lion and mountain sheep wander those mountains. I had a deer cross my front yard this morning. And here I am, and somebody in Israel knows about my work. I mean, I've sold my stuff to people in Saudi Arabia and Mongolia, for crying out loud. It just, it never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, I was working on the horse tonight and finishing it up. And uh, I just was all just completely struck by that thought. And uh, I had to share that with you guys. All right, I think I'm going to go back in and do some sculpting. It's a beautiful day in Montana. And life is good. I'm going to take you over and show the horse right now. I'm uh, working on the hind legs right now. I had a gentleman tell me he has a lot of trouble sculpting hind uh, the legs of the horse, and I've been trying to show as much detail in this DVD that I'm making uh, on how to create a horse's leg, how to make the shortcut to making hooves look like hooves, and and all that stuff. I just it's just Seems never-ending, but uh, I'm getting close to the end now. Uh, just to show you how I warm up my uh, uh, clay, it's a plastiline-type clay, and I have a swing-arm lamp that I use. It's Chavant's uh, NSP Soft, and I get it from uh, SculptureDepot.net. They've got every type of clay you ever can imagine. They can have... They've got ceramic clay, they've got uh, plastiline clay, which this is. They've got wax, they've got uh, resin, they got everything you ever c could possibly want in the way of sculpting materials and tools. Just had a guy that uh, I recommended tools to, and he bought a bunch of these. Uh, uh, he bought several of these uh, glyptic tools from Sculpture Depot today. Because, you know, if he's starting out, Starting with the best tools you can get, this will do nothing but help you become a better sculptor. All right, that's going to be it. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.